Hi and welcome back. Now in this chapter let's look at the AWS CloudFront service. So a quick understanding. This service is used for effective distribution of your content to users across the world. Now the content is distributed to your users with the help of edge locations. I'll explain this in a moment. And users receive the content from the closest edge location. So let's understand a little bit more on CloudFront with the help of an example. So let's say you spun up an EC2 instance in AWS. You're hosting a web application on this EC2 instance. And let's say that the EC2 instance has been deployed in the Ohio region. So remember that the EC2 service is a region specific resource. Now let's say that you want the content to be accessible by users across the world. So let's say that users across the world want to access the web pages on your web application. Now, do you think when all the users across the globe try to access your web application, will they always get the ideal response time or the same response time? Well, no. So only those users who are closest to the Ohio region will actually get the ideal response time. Users who are probably located halfway across the world will not get the same response time. And this is not ideal from maybe your application perspective. So if you want your application to grow in terms of users, in terms of content, obviously you want to ensure that users across the world get a seamless experience when they access your web application. So what you can do is that you can distribute the CloudFront service in front of your EC2 instance. Now, when you deploy a CloudFront distribution, it makes use of something known as edge locations. So again, these are devices, servers, data centers, whatever you can actually correlate them to. They are located across various regions in the world. So similarly to having these data centers to host your AWS resources, you also have these edge locations located across the world. So these are connected to the CloudFront distribution. So now when you have your users located across the world, when they want to access the web application on the EC2 instance, those requests will actually be made via the CloudFront service. Now the users, instead of actually getting the content from the EC2 instance or the CloudFront distribution, they would ideally get the content from the closest edge location. Now, obviously, there is a process around this and I'll explain this in a moment. But what happens is that this kind of saves the round trip of the content being taken from the EC2 instance to your users. Another advantage is that instead of now the content being pulled from your EC2 instance, it's now being pulled from the edge location. This kind of reduces the amount of you know burden on the EC2 instance. So you will see a better performance on your EC2 instance because not all of the requests will actually flow from the EC2 instance. But let me just explain the process in the next slide. So now when a user tries to access a web page in your application, that request will first be routed to the nearest edge location, so to the nearest device. Now if the web content is in the cache, so the edge location has a cache, if it is in the cache, that data is sent back to the user. Now, remember that initially all the content will be on the web server on your EC2 instance. It will not be present on the edge location. It's only on demand. So when the first user makes a request to that web content, a specific web page, if it is not in the edge location, obviously the edge location has to make a request to your origin. Your origin in this case is the EC2 instance. So it will make a request to the instance for the first time to get that web page which has been requested by the user and as soon as the first bytes are received from the origin to the edge server then the content gets relayed on to the user. So maybe the first user who access the web page might not get the ideal response time. 
but then the data gets cached for further use so subsequent users who make a request to the same web page for the application from the same you know closest location will now get the content from the edge server so the request will not now go to the origin it will be from the edge location closest to the user and this is how you can actually have a seamless experience when it comes to delivering web content all across the world now this is good when you have thousands or even millions of users who are accessing your web application in such a case if you have users across the world it is always beneficial to have a cloudfront distribution to distribute your request right so this is from an introduction on to aws cloudfront let's go on to the next chapter in which we will see a lab on how we can work with the aws cloudfront service for more details check the link in the description learn with wits labs success certified